Welcome to Imagine Dance. Oh, no. <laughs> We're already starting here. Look at this. Here we go. Oh, uh, thanks for joining in. Appreciate you guys watching every Saturday at seven o'clock. This is our fun live show where we get to vent about some music. And as we always say, music is the best medicine. So absolutely got it, man. We can always use that. So you thanks for it. joining in. If you're your first time uh, watcher, caller, viewer? listener. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> listener. Uh, view. Thank you. Uh, this is our uh, weekly show we do at 7 o'clock Saturday. Mm -hmm. If you aren't following our page, please let me come and smack you around a little bit because... <laughs> we all will. Yeah. yeah. Where have uh, you been? <laughs> uh, if you're remotely into music, which I know most of you are, we always have mm -hmm. tons of posts throughout the whole day about concert information, music news, entertainment... Uh, local talent information and concerts going on and new release music. So if you're not following, let us come and smack you around a little bit. You know? Absolutely. Get so. off your hineys <laughs> and start following. Zach, so. what's up, buddy? Zach, so. Jesse's watching already. Trey's watching. What's cool. up, Zach? What's uh, up, Trey? Yeah. Dave Mitchell, I'm sure, will be on soon. Oh, Tim yeah. Matney. Tim Matney. Yeah. What's, what's up, up Tim? Tim? Yeah, appreciate you guys following. Boom. That's all it's all about. As we started this venture uh, recently, one of the best things about it is all our good old friends from elementary school to high school to college, yeah. wherever, moved and came here and there. We, they're all hitting us up, and we get to share some stuff with you. Usually it's concerts we all went to, parties, bands we saw, and that is the part of this. And the more you guys do and contribute to it, the more we all get to share and reminisce. Yep. And that's one of the most incredible things about all this. And uh, that's why we got together to do it, was uh, yeah. to talk about things like that. And we just love for you guys to join in. Absolutely. There was a music so. store I think I remember you guys from. What was that called again? Uh, uh, yeah. Maps. Uh, something. Yeah, that's something. the one. That's the one. Imagine uh, that. Yeah. All of a sudden we need that little bubble <laughs> like a <in> Wayne's World. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we can rewind in time. <laughs> Every time I hear that, I think about that skip where oh, it's Madonna. The do -do -do -do, yeah. And it's yeah. Madonna at the... Um, Justify my love video. Oh, yep. yeah. Yeah, yeah that's a, that is funny. I'm still in love with that woman. Uh, oh, me uh, too, me too. I don't blame you. M my there he is. is. There he is. Mitchell's it's watching. Shit. I told you he'd be watching. Hey, Mitchell's Dave. on. Yeah, What's Mitchell's up, Mitchell? on. <laughs> Kenny's on. Hey, Kenny. Hey, Kenny. <clears throat> Man, as you can see, it's almost like a party through the phone right here. It is. Really? Tech I say it all the time. <laughs> Technology is a blessing and a burden oh, all at once. Yeah. And right now is a blessing moment. <laughs> Thank God. Yep. We Thanks, was, guys. We want a lot of that blessing. So. Yep, you got it, man. Uh, all right. Well, if you didn't know, uh, this <laughs> wonderful man right here, Scott Crawford. Uh, uh, a handsome guy. Hey, handsome man. Guy. Nice to meet you, Scott Crawford. Yeah. Hey, how's it going, Bill Guffey? All right. <laughs> how's there it going, go. guys? Bill Guffey, as we were saying. Bill. Hello. We got Eric the Kid back here. Yes. And Kyle, Hello, Kyle, Kyle something or another. I don't know what his yeah. name is. So, yeah. and of course we got the boss woman Tina Haddon over there yes. running the machine. Yes. You guys can come, uh, chime in with questions, comments. You can tell us how ugly Scott looks today, or <laughs> uh, how beautiful I do. I'm Imagine Mike, by the way, and we just join in and uh, make it even more fun. So uh, please yeah. do that. Well, do Who's our best at interacting with you as you interact with us. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. So just don't interact too much with Kyle because you uh, never know what that guy might tread lightly with that. You, you might catch like, some piece of disease. <laughs> yeah. mm. so, oh, tread lightly with that. If one. you ever could through a phone, it would be that. Yeah, so, my so. tongue is still healing up from a couple weeks oh, ago. Oh, I accidentally <laughs> licked his head. In, in a, you can lick my other in a, That's what you can do. In, in a horrible tragic uh, uh, display of Mistake. comedy. Yeah, I was trying to be funny, and man, it, it really happened. He was like tripping for three days after that. Oh my man. gosh, Yeah, it was man. like licking a, a, a toad's ass. We had junkies lined up for miles trying to get a taste of that head just because yeah. they thought, oh, it's the new thing. Yeah, you can't say you know, stuff like that in the Newcastle area because, no, you know, man, yeah, uh, they'll line up for miles if they think they can get a free hit or something. Yeah, so. frog's asses are out. Kyle's head is in. Um... But I'll tell you, oh man, it, it was a nightmare. It was <laughs> terrifying. So that is not a trip you want to take. Well, we're actually lucky Kyle's even here because, you know, with the, the Glenn Paltrow candle and things like that, Kyle came out with his own 
yeah. uh, candle. And actually, next week we have a new thing that's going to be happening. We have a new uh, uh, spray body scent by Kyle uh, yes. that we're going to be launching out. Because eighteen, I mean, aren't you supposed yeah. supposed to be saying move along by now? <laughs> <laughs> What's it called? Move along. Awesome. Move along. Uh, Leave my Kyle. Possum alone. breath and ass. Uh, possum uh, breath and ass. <laughs> <laughs> Be sure to uh, put that on. Move oh, over, Axe Body Spray. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think they're the one actually signed him to the contract. Oh, oh, nice. Congratulations, so, That would be pretty interesting. New I, I uh, got another one coming called Syphilis and Tears. <laughs> <laughs> Syphilis and Tears. Wow, that's amazing. Oh, I, know. Well, I, I thought that was mine, oh, but that was good. That was oh, good. man. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't even know if I can go on after that. That's pretty good, Kyle. Well, that was pretty good. If there was ever a time for us to get sucker punched, man. Are, are, are we supposed to be talking about music on this Yeah, one? yeah, yeah. We, we, we probably should, so. Oh, my God. All right, well, here we go. Dave Bell's watching. Dave Bell's watching. So, what, one of the things we do, <laughs> other than back to Kyle through this whole mess, uh, we usually do a top ten list because it's Valentine's week uh, our top 10 list is going to be the best love songs of all time that we think you know and obviously we have certain personal relationships with some of these songs oh, yeah. uh, some of the chirpers in town have personal relationships with kyle <laughs> and his songs but we uh we'll still let him tell him uh tell him his song so tell him yeah because we're not gonna be listening to tell us, i mean but we might have to clean up a wet puddle uh, after he gives i'm it to supposed us. to be the special <laughs> mike has shown in the past he don't listen to kyle's list yeah i, mean, <laughs> I, usually, I usually don't so That's i might true. have nightmares uh, we had at uh, least two of the same soundtrack uh, <laughs> Oh, oh man, man. Uh, all right, all right, all right. We, we need to get the shit on the road here. Here we go. All right, so news. Yeah, Mr. Hatton. Yes, Good news. What's the news? We'll, we'll start out with the news for the week. Obviously, one of the beginning things was the Oscars this week. That was a big thing. Um, glad to see Joaquin Phoenix won the Best Actor for the Joker. Well deserved. Man. Well deserved. Yes. You, uh, the stuff that that guy went through to make that movie was incredible. Yes. Uh, glad, to, glad to see Brad Pitt finally win one after all the stuff he's ever done. That was really nice to see. Wasn't he supporting? Uh, best supporting? Yep. Yeah, yeah. That was cool. Um, Renee Zigweller won the, another. <laughs> Zigweller. Zigweller. <laughs> I always think, you know, every time I say her name, I think that Zinger. Yeah, Zinger. Dolly Zane. Madison, that red one. Zellweger. Okay. Zellweger. I, I, I'm with you, Mike. I have to think about it to say it. So. Yeah. <laughs> I have to but, think but, about but every on time that I note, come I mean, see you. But uh, <laughs> Joaquin, I mean, he should have won one for his role in Walk the Line, yeah. where he played Johnny um, Cash, and and the movie Her. He's a and, phenomenal yeah. actress. Uh, yeah. he, I even liked his role in Eight Millimeter. Man, it was yeah. kind of smaller, but that guy yeah. was just. Yeah. Um, first, first yeah, that speech I, was weird that he did, but it was still meaningful yeah. though. First thing I ever saw him in was U Turn. I don't know. I never saw that. And that's a good one. Um, who else is in that? Jennifer Lopez and What's up, Kirby. Uh, Spuck Only. Fast Times to Oh, Sean Penn. Oh, yeah, Sean Penn. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 It's, yeah. I haven't seen that one. That's a good movie. Oh, yeah, man. But, yeah, Joaquin, uh, congratulations, man. Yeah, that was a very disturbing movie, and that, but it was still, it was a subject that needs to be touched on and taken very seriously, and golly. <coughs> yeah, the, the subject of um, mental illness is yeah. not a joke. Yeah. No. And that movie showed it. And, and, it, and it had a really good story behind with that because, oh, yeah. I mean, the yeah. government shutting the guy out from his medicines, all that yeah. stuff, like we see all the time. So yes. uh, they had a good point other than just being a joker movie. Yeah. Mean, yeah, my absolutely. sister is a speech pathologist, and she deals with uh, stuff like that on a daily basis. And she was telling me she's been very hesitant to watch that because she knows how real it is. But at the same time, she does want to watch it just you know, because uh, uh, she's happy that they're finally bringing that awareness yeah. uh, to the world. I, I, I deal with it a lot, being with all the medicines and doctors. I'm dealing with a kidney transplant, and it's extremely sad yeah. how these assholes are when people need help. Uh, yeah. And uh, it's it's nice, at least, you know, something that brought some attention to that, I think. Absolutely, so, man. Very, very Absolutely. I kind of want to watch it again. It's Man, it, it's shocking. If you guys haven't watched it, it's like... The beginning of it's kind of slow, and then the build-up 
you know, it's there, and then yeah. boom, man, yeah. when it happens, you're just like, like it's breathtaking. Yeah. Um, so yeah. good. So yeah. it was a well deserved Oscar, man. Shit. Well deserved. I, I watched it twice in less than a day. So yeah, yeah it's, it's uh, really well worth the watch. Didn't also, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Did, didn't Eminem perform? I, I missed that. What I was just going to say, yeah. Eminem performed. Uh, been uh, he won the Oscar back in 2003, and 17 years later, here he comes, popped out of nowhere and performed uh, yeah. that song that he won the Oscar for, and I think that was really cool. Uh, Is that Lose Yourself? Yeah. 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 Man, I, that, I said that, that was a big cool. moment. Um, I mean, he, he won for that and then come out and played it. Yeah. Um, that's one of them, like, to me, that's the next Eye of the Tiger. Like, when I used to work out... Uh, uh, either that or Eye of the Tiger, man, that was just, they're so inspirational. And my dad, man, he's not even a rap fan at all. Um, and he heard that song was like Killer. hollering at my mom, like, Ruth, Killer get in song. here. You got to hear this, you know. So yeah. I couldn't find that, though. I, You know, I was trying to find it on YouTube, and uh, I haven't seen it yet, but I, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, it's it's worth watching. It's, it's a good performance. Um, that was a good thing. Uh, I mean, Elton John played. Um, yes. And then... Uh, a lot of people were talking to Bill. How was get her name? Billie Eilish. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. She did uh, yeah. the Beatles song yesterday. Yeah. With yeah. Uh, all the people and the, the passed away and stuff in the background, uh, in a really nice, you know, somber kind of way. It was really cool for her. This girl's really tearing it up. I mean, for her age. I mean. Oh yeah. Uh, and uh, that was pretty impressive as well. So, yes, but I have to say, uh, I'm very disappointed that they did not get a. Shout out in memoriam to Sid Haig. Yeah, right. Yeah, there was a couple people that Golly. they missed on there. Um, I think Luke Perry wasn't even on there. You know, really? Like, yeah, and I thought that wow. was shocking. And there was a couple other people, but um, man, and, you know, every year they screw that up. They, they snub people. Uh, we get that in the music industry a lot. You know, yes. Jeff Hanneman when he passed, we yeah. didn't get that. Yeah. And there were some other guys this yep. year. Um, and it's a shame that they don't give shout outs to. Some people in the, like horror genre, I guess, is a little lesser uh, in the limelight, but still, man. You know, Sid was a great actor, yeah. um, and he deserved. And, and horror fans, we both know this from going to st uh, dozens of conventions, most passionate motherfuckers. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, it's a shame on him for for that. And, but Billie Sid, Eilish, though, she done a, a great performance. I did see that one. And, and Sid loved his fans. I mean, he was dedicated yeah. to them. But, oh yeah, dude. You know, he, I never met him, but I saw him talk a lot and heard him like, you know, he was uh, very, like you said, passionate about yeah. you know meeting people and uh, giving thanks the way that people deserve fans <coughs> deserve and stuff. So. Oh, yeah. We'll right. we'll do the memoriam for him. Yeah. You know, Sid, we miss you, buddy. Yeah, exactly. Definitely. Um, next on the list, um, uh, the Red Hot Chill Puppers got together with all the guys and for the first time in 13 years and played, and I always butcher his name, John. John Frashante. 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 Yes. Actually joined them and got the whole group together and played a little memorial concert uh, for a friend of theirs named Andrew Burkle. Um uh, and it's mainly like three, three songs set, you know, they did Give It Away and The Stooges, I Want to Be Your Dog. Oh, dude, I love and, that yeah. song. Yeah, and uh, another one they did, they did Gang, it's a song called uh, Not Not Great Menu, it's a band called Gang of Four. Oh, yeah. And the reason they did that, which this is kind of cool, it was a tribute to uh, the guitarist uh, Andy Glenn, who produced their very first <laughs> Red Hot Chili Pepper album. And uh, he, he died just last, earlier in the year. And uh, so they did that song for him. And also, Steve Perkins and Dave Navarro joined him in the place. Yes, Man, yes that's they a did. Phenomenal lineup so right there. So that was impressive. You can see that on our page. Most of all the yeah, stuff on there. I'm going to talk about is on our page. And there's usually songs on there that we're talking about that you can listen to. And there is a video of this that you can oh, watch yeah. them performing this. So That's how I saw it, actually. Yeah. Yeah. It went to our page Same. and Mike had posted it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm huge. Uh, Chili Peppers is a bucket list band of mine. I haven't seen them yet, and I no, want to. I so have incredible. I've seen. I them. have not either. Yeah, I've seen them a couple of times, and I, I'm telling you, this one time they came out and they, uh, <laughs> they were in their underwear <laughs> like they do on that one uh, poster, you know. Yeah. And then another time they had these hard hats on with these fucking flames that were coming out of the top of their head that were like this tall, like, like real fire. Yeah, yeah. Wow, real, dude, you know, that's killer. I mean, it's just amazing some of the stuff they do, and they're one of the 
greatest live bands you'll ever see. Yeah, so. very creative, and and if you know, uh, Flea is one of the most innovative, if not the most innovative, bass player of our time. So, definitely, uh, definitely. I want to see him so bad. Great. All right. We'll try to keep this going along here. Yeah. Another cool thing, and I, I, the one one of the main reasons I want to bring this up because you guys, you know, I try to talk about the first few things that you guys like and comment about the most. Uh, this week, Post Malone played a show at Banker's Life. Yes. Uh, sold out show, big time show. But it was kind of cool because a couple of our skater kid friends that used to come in our store all the time. Yep. Got to go hang out with them, and uh, uh, Zach Lohorn, one of the kids that used to be in the store every other day. Chad. Uh, and Chad. Chad uh, they got to go and meet him and tattoo him and stuff. Again. So That's again. amazing. And uh, that was yeah. kind of cool. There's pictures of that on our page, too, uh, for yeah. some little guys in Newcastle or New Tucky there to... Uh, get to do that and uh, spend some time with somebody like that it was pretty fucking cool. Dude, Hell that's yeah. freaking awesome, yeah. man. Little old Newcastle, Indiana. And yeah. now somebody as famous as Post Malone, they've got, yeah. like, he's got a tattoo from some Newcastle guys, man. That's just... Multiple. Uh, yeah. And uh, and one of his possible. Two of them, you know. Yeah, yeah that's pretty it's, cool. Chad yeah. and Zach, man, that's that's awesome. Yeah. Man. Help us yeah. put Newcastle Good on the map, guys. fellas. I'm proud of you, Zach. That was really cool, man. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, James Sexton, thank you for that comment. He said you guys are awesome. He's, he's watching hey James, now. And, uh, how's it going, man? <laughs> yeah, he's a good guy. Heck yeah. um, another as the Aerosmith turns story. As the Aerosmith turns. <laughs> love uh, song coming up. If you want to talk about a band, the they love song. brought Joey Kramer back to yep. play some of their Vegas shows. Yep. Yep. Uh, you know, and I can understand why they were having this. Uh, Joey had sold, shoulder surgery uh, a year ago, and apparently he's been having trouble playing. Oh. And the band was getting a little, wanting to keep, they wanted to start playing a lot and doing some more shows, and they were thinking he had trouble doing it. So, of course, you know, he got, you know, the lawsuit with the uh, Massachusetts um, uh, lawsuit and all this stuff done there. And um, he lost, but um, apparently they felt like he was getting back and getting back into form, so he's now kind of back playing with them. So okay, cool, man. That's kind of good news considering all the bad stuff we hear about bands fighting or Oh yeah, you know, or Soundgarden person dies and this, that, yeah. and the other. Right. So at least we got to see something good happen. I think Aerosmith so. is one of those bands that don't they don't work if it's not on the five original guys. I mm. like the record without Steve and Oh Joe and and um, the other guy, mm. but um. They should always be the original five. Yeah, it's, it's I agree. I've seen yeah. that happen before with other bands. When you yeah. see a band that's together that long, you know, you hate to see anybody not in it. It just doesn't feel right sometimes. Right, you know, when right. you grew up with somebody that long. So, yeah, yeah, when that chemistry's there, it's there, man. Yeah. So you know, absolutely. we've seen that happen with Guns N' Roses, and uh, I've seen it happen with several other bands. So, yeah. You know, yeah. it's. Yeah, kudos for him being back. Yeah. Heck yeah, because Aerosmith's a classic, man. I mean, yeah. those. Golly, they 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 put out good music since what the so, early seventies. Seventy three. Yeah. yeah. And talking about something, uh, uh, something together forever kind of feel. I just love this little story. It's not a major story or anything, but Bruce Dickinson come out from Iron Maiden, and he wanted to assure with all these bands coming and going and getting old, his exact words were, "We're never gonna fucking stop playing." So yeah. I, and I think that's so awesome that that he was so adamant in this interview that he said we will never fucking stop playing until we die. Yeah, yeah, yeah I dude. just thought that was really cool. He made a comment with what we've talked about in the past. We won't have any holograms doing our <laughs> shows. He said that, and uh, here just uh, here in May they start up their Legacy of the Beast tour. And uh, yeah. we'll get to see another round of Iron Maiden again. So yeah, that's, that's that Ozzy that Osbourne mentality. Yeah. What's that, Kyle? That show was excellent last year. Yeah. The, Kyle's the whole set list was um was thought of by their manager um, Rod. Okay. Uh, has he been their manager from day yeah, one or? Pretty much from number number of the beats from okay. there to now. So the yeah. difference is an era. Yeah. Yep. Nice, man. I think, um, he the, I think he came in on Killers. But. Yeah, but anyway, that's just uh, not only the same band members, but the same manager. Uh, like I said, that's that Ozzy Osbourne mentality. Like, that's what those guys were born to do. And 
no matter their health, it's what they love to do. They care about the fans and they want to be there on stage. And yeah, dude, I mean, it's just, yeah, just like Mike, man, going through all this health stuff. Yep. You know, we don't even know personally what Mike's going through, but I mean, we hear it obviously as he tells us. But I know you guys probably don't either. And here he sets every week, man. Um, it's just, you know, it's, some people are born to do it, man. And music, music is the best medicine, man. I'm telling you. I, I, I mean, I spent all day long getting ready for this show because yes, it drives me to be able at the and want to be with you guys and be with these guys. And I'm telling you, it it, it just gives me an injection. Oh uh, yeah, dude. Power and love, you know, man, just like music does. So Hell yeah, yeah. dude, hell yeah. And that actually kinda goes into my next story because this really hits home to me. Um uh former deaf and cynic drummer, yeah. Sean Renner is it Ryan Rein I wanna make I, I always have trouble with that. They've had names. a million drummer, uh, but um he passed away this week. Mm. And his last dying request that he wanted to make sure he, he, all his organs got donated to someone so they could live on. Oh, I saw this, man. And there was, you know, he he admitted when he did that, you know, he he's gay and he's dating, uh, had been married with a gentleman for 12 months. And obviously there's a law in this that if that's the case, no matter what, even if you're a healthy, 100% healthy person, He's not allowed to donate his organs. That's or fucking bullshit. This is fucking bullshit. I'm yeah. going through yeah. death on the death door, needing a kidney transplant, and God damn it, I would have took this kidney if I had a choice. Because yeah. if it's tested and it's good to go, then it should be okay. And if I make the decision with my own body to decide if I need one or not, I should be able to take that if I want to do that. Yes, and sir. You know, they got so many tests. I've been through so much with the medical field. I should be a fucking doctor now. <laughs> um, and this guy was perfectly healthy. There was nothing wrong with him. And he could have saved a life. And because of the stereotype of what people think or not. Because his sexual preference. He was not mean. able to do anything. Not able to save a life. And um, I, I, it just makes me bang my head against the wall sometimes when... You're sitting there going through stuff I'm going through, and uh, this is probably one of the main stories that we've ever done here that hits me at home really mm -hmm. hard, and um, I, I can't say that I'm not disgusted by this because of the mentality of some people, but if I had the choice and I wanted the opportunity to have it, I should get that opportunity to try it or not. Absolutely. And I should man. not have some law person that don't know their ass from a hole in the ground because they don't know any better. Right making decisions for me that might save my life. Yeah. So, fuck you. Right. And your bullshit on this. Yeah, man. Sexual orientation, uh, all that stuff aside, should have nothing to do with whether somebody can donate organs or not. I mean, there's no... It just... It's disgusting. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is not 1960 I, I, or 1980 yeah. anymore, man. We, gonna, we, are, we are beyond that. Yeah, um, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a damn shame. Uh, yeah. Shame on the government or whoever made that decision uh, for making that decision. Yeah. Um, if a person wants to donate their organs and they're healthy, then damn it, why not, man? What right. the fuck? They, were, they do so many tests on these organs you would not even believe. I know because I've already seen all this and went to classes about it. Yeah. That majority of the time... They could take anything in it and throw it in the trash if there was. Obviously, they could have ran the test on this, and it could have been perfectly fine. Somebody could have been had their life saved. But no, because mm. of the mentality of these people, this is what happens. So. I donate blood as often as I can. Give and they a shout out to Jackie. Uh, oh, hey, uh, Jackie. weird. Yeah, Jackie, man, let's do that real quick. Uh, yeah. Jackie, uh, she, we want to give a shout out to Jackie. Uh, she's laying in a hospital bed, man, hopefully yeah. getting healthier. Um, thank you for watching. I hope, yeah. hopefully, uh, well, like we, we're going to get off this sad story yeah, right now. We were just yeah. on. So, <laughs> love you, Jackie. Jackie, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. I love Jackie more than anybody because she's my wife. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, the boss is, is watching over there. So, <laughs> if your husband, Sam, is performing tonight, I, no, I hope we see him. Yeah, definitely. We'd so, like to see, uh, Sam no, Porter uh, is playing with Surreal, the uh, no, Shotgun Revival, I'm not probably. No. Oh, okay, or maybe not. Well, there's they're going to be Surreal's going to be up there at Town Tavern and stuff it's, tonight. It's, so. it's a bad thing. Shut uh, up about it. All right, so 
Uh, next on the list, uh, this was a huge story that everybody was into, was Dave Grohl, the Foo Fighters, confirms that there's a new album, and he's also filming a documentary mm. uh, all about the van life of t- when you first start in a van, <laughs> living in a van, oh, cool. and Hell all the yeah. bands that had to deal with driving and doing all that stuff. Um, been there, done that. So that, that seems kind of uh, interesting. He, he interviewed for like the Beatles and everybody else about because everybody started in a van, touring around, yep. quitting oh, their yeah, job, dude. living on Raymond Noodles and stuff like that. So <laughs> uh, I don't uh, know if you uh, cool. his uh, Lost Highways uh, series uh, yes. from HBO was killer. So this will, Dave Grohl, man, I don't care. I'm not a big Foo Fighters fan, but that guy, everything he does, he pours his heart and soul into, and this will be kick ass. Yeah, man. turn it off. Um, one of the riffs on there, uh, he'd been working on for 25 years back when he was with Nirvana that he's going to put on there. Sweet. Um, um, he also, this interview was really something kind of crazy that, uh, that he was talking about how, how the Foo Fighters almost broke up in 2001. And if he had went and joined the Queen of the Stone Age and played with them, that they would have been done with. Woo! Uh, he said that they, they... Talking back in the stand of the band and all that stuff. It's pretty interesting. Hell yeah. yeah. And, and I thought this was the funniest story of them all. In this interview, he talks about one of the funnest times he had uh, just a couple years ago. He stayed up drinking until 5.30 in the morning at a hotel with Robert Smith of The Cure. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that would be fun. Now, you love to be a fly on the wall. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, I want to be the one drinking with Robert I Yeah, say, no shit. I would love to just You there. know, I'll say the, the same <laughs> thing. Like, if you watched, uh, there was a documentary about Lemmy after he passed. And yeah, his, before he passed. Okay, before he passed. But there was also uh, uh, Lemmy's memorial. Um, Dave Grohl got up and spoke. And, yeah, oh, my he gosh, did. he spoke so highly of uh, Lemmy. Very um, emotional. Very emotional. Yeah, yeah, yeah I talked about how Lemmy would... Lemmy was so friendly with fans. Yeah, that was like, really cool. Just Dave Grohl, man. I, you know, like I said, I even not being a big Foo Fighters fan, he's just he's a great guy. Yeah, actually. we're blessed to have him as an yeah. artist while we're yeah, you know. And talking about Robert Smith, this was another huge story, and I just can't wait for this. <laughs> but Robert Smith, the Cure, says they will release a new album here very soon. And it's been like 12 years since they've had a new album. Yeah. Yeah. And actually, if you read this article on on our page, this is very freaking cool. He leaks some stuff he probably didn't want to say. <laughs> but he actually says they have three albums almost ready to put out. And one of them is a solo album by him. What? Killer. Yeah. Damn, I didn't see that. Yeah. Oh. So... Yeah, I was excited. Yeah, man. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine doing a solo <laughs> album finally? Hell yeah. <laughs> I mean, I was just like, holy shit when I read this. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, dude, that's oh, going to yeah. be kick-ass. I mean, uh, kick ass. these guys were just doing their tour last year. It was their 40th anniversary since they started. These guys are, you know, are legends. And um, yeah. uh, I, I've seen them in concert, incredible in concert. Yeah. Um, I mean, just uh, one of my all-time favorite bands. So this Sweet. is going to be really cool to see maybe three albums coming out here real soon by The Cure. Yes, um, man. Uh, hey, two, of, uh, two of my prized possessions are my final uh, promo copies of porn, Pornographic and Boys Don't Cry. No. Okay. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna stuff. throw this out real quick. Uh, Brandon Scott says he's stoked that he caught us live. So yeah, yeah we're stoked too, man. Anybody who catches us live, we're That's stoked awesome. about it. It's always cool. Bill shouts at these names, and it's like, man, oh my god! And you just have these little things of last time you saw them or yeah, something you yeah, did, you know. Yeah. Just real yep. quick little blurps in your head. It's yeah, awesome. I yeah. mean, that's what's so fucking cool about this guy. Is, I'm telling you. Yep, so it is. all right, next <laughs> on this list, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, this is kind of cool. There's some other little stories this week we'll go through pretty quick. Uh, Pearl Jam came out with a new song, and the only reason I'm really bringing this up is something really freaking cool that they did, I thought. Uh, it's their new song called uh, Super Blood Wolf Moon. Uh, and now, through the 19th, if you have the Pearl Jam app on your phone, <laughs> check this out. There's an app? Yeah. No. Check this out. You go outside, <laughs> and you hold your phone up to the moon... And it will play a special version of the song with a weird special video only for you. Yep. That's if you hold your phone killer. up to the moon. 
Wow, talk so, about some technology. Yeah, dude. yeah, I posted that a couple days ago. Yeah, I was man. like, what the fuck? Yeah, I mean, it's, shame on me. I missed know, that. It's That's great cool. to have something original like that. Hell it's just, yeah. I mean, it's a little goofy and stuff, but um, yeah, it's, it's, it's killer, pretty cool, man. you know, if you're a major fan, it's just something different. You yeah, know? I mean, even, I mean, that's, there again, man, uh, a burning and a blessing. Yeah. Uh, blessing. That's, yeah. man, that's great to pretty be able cool. to do that with technology. Yes. Pearl Jam. Hell yeah, yeah. man. Uh, an old band that's getting with the times, yeah. dude. <laughs> cool, I mean, they've been around been for behind 30 behind years. Behind You're right, they haven't. Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. yeah. That's I, I'm gonna have to check that Gotta out. Keep it man. fresh. I, I, I love I love whatever. What do they call that? Uh, astro astronomy. Astronomy. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Astronomy. <laughs> astronomy. <laughs> Maybe you should listen to Pink Floyd, Bill. Maybe, Maybe I should. <laughs> I don't know. I do. I do. Do you? I do. Maybe you should dig deeper. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. So deep. Just oh. Saying. Yeah. <laughs> the boss is gone. Oh, oh, no, we can talk for something forever while they're yelling at us. <laughs> uh, all right, next on the list, uh, this is really cool, and you know we got a lot of ties to this, but they're uh, reopening the, the Emerson this yes. this month Hell on yes. February 23rd. Yep. Hell yes. With uh, the first show being Soulfly. Ooh. Yeah. Soulfly. Uh, March 8th. Young Bloods, and then April twenty third, ICP is going to be yes. there. Yes, thank yeah, you, man. thank you, David Lawson, brother. Yeah. He just came to my house yesterday. We had a phenomenal hang session, and yeah. he told me the story of ICP. Oddly enough, I was only a fan during the Riddle Box album, but that guy's the biggest fan. Of them all. I introduced him to them, dude. He right. he thanks me to yeah. this day for getting him into them. And he don't even call them ICP anymore. He calls them by their their real names, and I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, it's hilarious, dude. That's cool. But um, yeah, yeah, man, I I told him I, I want to go with him, man. So hopefully, I'm gonna go to that show. Yeah. And, it's great to see that. I mean, uh, you played some shows there. And, yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah, it's, it. you know, I uh, I remember oh, yeah. one of my greatest moments was uh, I met this new band that I never heard of, and I was handing, I was standing outside passing their flyers around, and it was the Deftones. Right. Wow, they played the Emerson yeah. back in the yes. day? That's yes. freaking killer, man. Yeah, I got to know those guys really well and help them out. They were so gracious and yeah. sent me all kinds of stuff when I got back to the music store and all that. And I, I just thought that was really cool. And they know it was because of the Emerson. They're so. from Bakersfield, right? California. Yeah, yeah um, same place as Corn. Yeah, so yeah. that's amazing. And yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping to catch that with Lawson and Dave Mitchell's wanting to go to it. Yes. So. Hopefully we can all get together, yeah. man, and just hang out at the Emerson. Cool, cool. I see some good that. bands yeah, and good music. Shit. That's a great place. Walk back in there where I played so many shows as an unknown artist. That's, yeah. That's, wow. that's killer. That's cool, man. man. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Great. Well, next on the list, um, Fox said they are going to air the charity concert for the Australia Fire Victims. Uh, that'll be on TV on February 29th. It's going to have Queen and Alice Cooper. I know it's your favorite mm. band, Five Seconds of Summer. <laughs> Who? No, you know what? They're not. They're not terrible. I've it's seen a, them. It's I, a boys' band. Yeah, the, the kids like them. Yeah, the kids. Like I've it. seen them with mine. Anything to you know, collect money for the charity is all it is. And it's, oh, that. and another thing for you, Scott. It's going to oh. be hosted by Olivia Newton John. Well, that's you awesome. You know what? Speaking of love songs. I mean, I love her, so. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Olivia, of course, she's baby. Australian, so that's probably why. But, well, yeah. Uh, but that's kind of cool, you know, like, anything to help those guys out. And that'll be on Fox later. on February 29th, so you, uh, you can check that out. Australian. And, yeah. You might as well bring uh, Keith Urban, too. Oh, yeah. You yeah. know who ought to play that? Freaking Void King, man. Yeah, yeah they should after what they did for them. They, nah. I saw where they collected the money for that and raised, you know, pretty good amount of money for for the charity to send to the fire victims. Yeah, yeah. I mean uh, that's amazing for Boy Keen, a Muncie yeah. band, uh, Praise the to, to, to Praise help somebody out. That's awesome. That's what sh music and everything should be about. Yeah. Well, you yeah, know who should play it more than Boy Keen? Who's that? Us. Yeah, really. <laughs> Us. <laughs> hey, you know, I had this idea and I think it'd be fucking cool as shit, but. You know what we should do? We should do a traveling show. You remember how Bomb Tom used to do that all the time? Yeah. Maybe we should go like Scooters and do our show there. They still do. Yes. You know, or something like that. I yeah, they'll go food. live uh, yeah. every once in a while, Bob and We'll Tom go to somebody's house. house, just on a whim, and knock on their door and... <laughs> Dude, well, I mean, hey, maybe we maybe we can do it uh, at the end of the month, man, with, uh, when we go to the Green Jello show. Maybe we can... Or maybe tonight. 
if we go to, if we go to the top tavern. Hey, you know what? So, oh, uh, we'll, shoot. Maybe we'll just do a little live broadcast while we're there. Come on, little, boss. Little, step it up. Little, You're back. Uh, Move us along. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting off track. Yeah, fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. All right, next on the list. Uh, this is kind of interesting if you really read the article. It, it didn't look that way at first when you see the post, but uh, they're finally telling us the story of a fire that was at Universal Studio in 2008 where they lost a ton of master recordings from people like all the records in Nirvana, Soundgarden, oh gosh, yeah, yeah. Slayer, R.E.M., Elton John. Slayer! 17,000 artists were affected by this fire, and they told no one about it in 2008. Crazy. Because you know why? Now they're getting sued by everybody. Oh, and that's fuck. what they wanted to avoid. Another dirty trick from a bunch of hierarchy music you know, yep. managers and shit. And it's biting them in the ass now. But the bad part about it and the sad part of it is we've lost a lot of master recordings from almost God. some of the most incredible artists ever. And these sorry son of bitches didn't want to tell anybody to try to save a dime. And it's going to bite them in the ass now. So, yep, yep, yep. Uh, but um, well, very deserved. interesting article if you dig and read this thing uh, and see how evil the music industry can be sometimes to people. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, it's know. awful, man. So, uh, fuck. Yeah. yeah, those master copies are so important. People don't realize that. And that's what we were saying uh, last week when we talked about the vinyl factory burning down. Yeah. Uh, I don't know that a lot of people understand how important vinyl is, man. Like how that's... The truest form, the, the truest format of music, um, other than the master copies. Yeah. You know, so, vinyl's the next. So. Stay tuned to that. That story's going to get bigger and bigger, I think, this week. And you'll, you'll uh, see a yeah. lot of stuff going on with this. Uh, there's going to be a lot of lawyers and a lot of craziness getting involved with this. To be continued. Yep. Yep. Tune um, in next yeah. week. Next on the list, just real quickly. If you didn't see it on there, um, we're all big fans of Stranger Things. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. They yeah. Uh, Season 4 just got announced, and they put a teaser on there. I won't tell you what the teaser is. You can watch it yourself. Yeah. But that's an incredible show. I love you, it. You I love it. Catch up on it. Watch them all now as you can. But uh, mm. here in the next few months, it looks like the Season 4 is going to start. So. Yeah, yeah, man. man. Maybe that was yeah, the teaser. Was supposed to be last, last season. season. Uh, so it hasn't started yet. I was going to say, shame on my, my friend, Jana Womack. She posted something, and I, I thought it had already started. And it was just, I was like, what? Spoiler? Shame yeah. on you for spoiling. But maybe not. It was just, uh, I love Jana. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I do too. Yeah, cool. Jana, yeah. She's, uh, heck yeah, man. Um, but okay, so yeah. never mind. Not shame yeah, on you. Yeah, Stranger Things, <laughs> uh, season four. Yeah. Look for it. That is a phenomenal series. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. And my son looks like Dustin, which is He does. Weird. He really freaking does. <laughs> he does. Uh, he's got a scare show on Netflix I've been watching. Yes. Yeah, that's, yes. And every time I see him, I think, oh, man, that looks and, uh, <laughs> so much. The, yeah. the Glow show is also ending. And Glow. The Netflix Glow. It's the female, the wrestling. female wrestling Oh, oh yeah, okay. yeah, 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 okay. yeah. That was out of left field, Kyle. Mm, yeah, I, <laughs> uh, we were talking that. We're, 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 okay. we're talking about something like that. Yeah, he's, talk, he's thinking he's had women somehow. I can say something about women. It's a good so, fucking yeah. show. <laughs> I watched Glow back so in the is day. That the, is that the same like Glow from back in the day? No, they, yeah. They just did like a. It's a fake. It's a made up story, but it's. It's a drama. Like a revamping. Yes. Yeah. So yes, yes, yeah, they made a Netflix okay. show about cool. it. There is a documentary about Glow. Yes, Gorgeous sure. Women yes, Wrestling yes. was what Glow was. Absolutely. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, thanks, I used Kyle. to love Glow. I, I got a shout out real quick, man. My cousin Mark's watching. Uh, thanks, Mark. I love you. Uh, miss you. We need to get together this summer. Uh, him, and, him and my cousin Jason, man. We were like brothers growing up. So I, I have a shout out to make us too. too. Um, Scott Deck, if you're watching, brother. I told you I'd give you a shout out. Hell yeah. I hope man. you're watching. So. Hell yeah. I haven't seen him on yet, man, but I'm sure he'll watch it at some point. Heck yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that's pretty much the news. We got a lot of stuff about some bands with new songs and some activity going on with concerts and stuff. So I'm going to kind of go through these a little bit here. Um, I'm a big fan, and, and most people are Fleetwood Mac, but um, and this is a great story that Lindsey Buckingham is going to tour after having his heart attack he had last year. No. Um, 
And that, it, it's just that's just incredible. He's in one of the I'm telling you guys the most underrated guitar player, yeah. the, one of the ones I've ever seen. He's incredible. Yeah. Um, okay. And there's been a lot of crap going on you hear again with all bands fighting. You know, um, Fleetwood Mac and them pretty much split ways. Yeah. Uh, he got lawyers involved and sued him. They they did an out of court settlement or something. He's no longer going to be with the band. Mick Fleetwood said he never will be again. Um, and I thought this was unusual to fill their spot. Um, there's a couple of bands I was into, but Neil Flynn of Crowded House is taking over for for him. Well, what? Yeah, you know, you remember, you know, yeah, yeah. he's yeah. really yeah. good yeah. artist. Good. I mean, yeah, he's really good. Really? Like, very underrated artist from Crowded House back in the mm -hmm. in the day a little bit. He is taking over Lindsay's part, and then they also added wow. Mike Campbell of the uh, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Sweet. He's on there too. Sweet. Those so guys. that's who Fleetwood Max yeah. added to to the show. Those two guys. I thought that was Campbell when I saw him. <laughs> yeah. Him. I mean, yeah. which is that's freaking killer. Um, Heck yeah. But um, Lindsay's going to be playing in you know closest places uh, May first, St. Louis, and May third in Memphis. Um, but okay. um, a short little stint, and I'm telling you, man, he I've seen him by himself. He is incredible. Really? Yeah. Man. You guys. Really, if you could go, you would be blessed. To I see need that. to make a note of that. So. Uh, that's, uh, but you said Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, man. Mm -hmm. The Heartbreakers, those yeah. those guys Mike deserve. Was, I mean, yeah, that's they deserve to be yeah, those two guys. I mean, that's great. Uh, uh, next on the list, Mike Patton and Tomahawk are working on their first album in seven years. That's pretty fucking cool. This is even cooler if you're an alternative guy like me. But Dwayne Denson. From the old Jesus, Jesus, uh, Jesus, Jesus Lizard album. Oh, he's yeah. in the band with him, and he's telling us that Jesus Lizard's, Lizard's going to put an album out. Oh, my God. They have That's not had an album out since 1998. And they had like they're going to put an album out oh wow. my to add to this year of mass craziness of music. Twenty twenty's been huge. I mean, so yeah. huge. Yeah. My, my uh, buddy, that is Adam awesome. Craig is such a big Jesus like oh, Y'all yeah. can build the biggest wall you want to build, but you ain't going to hold back twenty twenty. Uh, right. This has just been it. This oh, has been the best. Shoot, I, I, Jesus best years Lizard of music ever. And um, I love the name Jesus Lizard. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, God, that's uh, like, such uh, a older I band. think uh, all these weird, like, night, like the, uh, the Jesus Mary Chain, yeah. all these weird, like, 90s bands. Uh, like that's what I, I grew up on. Yeah. Me and Crawford always laugh all the time because we, we were all listening to the same music, like Rat and all that stuff back in the day. And yeah, he I went on to the band. Slayer and heavy metal stuff, and I went on to the alternative you know, stuff like this. I was more onto the yeah, alternative. Which, which, which I did too, like that. but... But that, you were stronger in that, and I was stronger in that. And yes. we, we worked at the music stores. Yep. We were like the, you know, the Wonder Twins of power. Nobody yes. could ever outdo us in any music, anything. <laughs> because yeah. he was so much in the heavy metal, and I was so much in alternative. No one could yep. throw a curveball past us at all. So <laughs> it was pretty funny. It was. It hell still yeah, is. Dude, hell yeah. You still can't. I uh, guarantee no, you. No, I know. I know. Throw us a curveball. Yeah, yeah, I guarantee you can. Oh, um, yeah. We, we ought to be on some game shows or something. Where Absolutely. We're just Jeopardy, baby. Music language. edition. Music edition. Excuse my language. Sorry. Uh, why? Um, I don't know. Why not? <laughs> More on your side of things. Uh, us. <laughs> Hate Breed released a new song, When the Blades Drop, and yes. they're going to have a new album coming out here real soon, too. I Hate actually Breed. thought it dropped yesterday. The new song did. The song did? Yeah, the Not song the album, album yet. Yeah. Okay. The album will be out here shortly, but... I can't fucking wait. Yeah, Eric's being that's, awful quiet over nice. there. He's a Hate Breed fan. You a Hate Breed come fan, on, Eric? Come on, come on, man. Kyle? Still Hate awake, Breed? man? Yeah. yeah. But their first album... Mm -hmm. Ooh, Perseverance. Their Perseverance. Their That's not their first album, but... No, it's their third, actually. The, yeah. the one in 2000? Yeah, right. They had some before that. Well, anyway. Yeah. That's what everybody knew. <laughs> they tour, man. They toured with Slayer for like, like three five, solid years. Like five years, yeah. Jägermeister <laughs> basically became yes. the sponsor of Slayer and Hate Breed. Yes. And, I'm not yeah. a huge fan, but I appreciate what they do. Oh, my gosh. Live, man. Their energy oh, yeah. is just... Mm. It's unmatched. Right? So I, I, yeah, I can't wait. Mitchell's a big hate free, hate breed fan. Uh, There's a lot of them out there. Hell yeah, um, dude. I mean, I love them. Next on the list, uh, this is kind of interesting. Being, I guess, because Guns N' Roses is doing the tour, but Jeez. Gilby Clark from Guns N' Roses, and back in the day, is uh, put out a new song. Rock and roll is getting louder. 
Uh, it's his first it? anything he's done in 15 years, yeah. so that's kind of cool. All right, <laughs> shut up. I get, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. I get. Gilby uh, Clark. All right, Dean Snyder <laughs> put a petition out to have ACDC played at the halftime of the Super Bowl uh, next year, mm-hmm. so you can go online and sign a petition and uh, uh, have ACDC. Be next year's halftime show. Which Man, why not? Deserve they they're deserve they're willing it. to pay. Yeah, well, they yeah. deserve Does it cost money? Do bands have to pay? The, to pay the halftime show, the bands have to pay them. Yeah, okay, yeah, I didn't know that. There's a lot of technicalities in it, but... Uh, yeah, but like, ACDC, like... Yeah, I mean, like for me personally, I'm a fan, but three or four songs tops and I'm over it. Well, that's so, why most of the artists, show? they have a new album out. Like yeah. Lady Gaga did the year before. There was a new album come out. The record labels pay it all. It's not like the artist does. Right. right. Yeah, and it's then, not you know, and it's the usually to promote a new album coming out and stuff. And sometimes that gets lost with the with the fans. A lost in bit. translation. Yeah. So. But, but yeah, I mean, a- ACDC would be a major, major NFL. Yeah, we're due for a new like like for a rock halftime show. We're due for absolutely. one. I mean, it's been yeah, a couple good. rough years. I don't know, Travis Markham. I, I never do video chat. You keep calling my phone, um, so watch the show and we'll talk from there. So, uh, <laughs> also next, the Black Crows are doing a, uh, a second show stint before they do their bigger union tour, and it's all going to be a whole acoustic show. Killer, dude! Oh, yeah. Wow! All acoustic. Black Crows. They're doing like eleven shows uh, before the reunion, and it's going to be totally acoustic, just him and his brother mainly. Oh, and, uh, really? Yeah, this is going to be oh. something. Hopefully, we can even hopefully just see online or something because yeah. uh, it's only 11 cities, but uh, I thought that's kind of kind of cool. So, uh, yeah, so man. I, I, uh, Black Crows, uh, that's su- such a good classic band. Yeah. Shake Your Money Maker, that album um, was epic. I had to say something about this one because I know it's one of your favorites too, but Janet Jackson is going to be on tour. And I want to go so bad. <laughs> I, I would really? actually like. I'd actually yes. like to see her. Uh, I've never got to, but uh, she's going to be doing the whole Rhythm Nation album. Yes. Oh, dude, that'd yeah. be killer, dude. I I want to go so bad. I've never got yeah. to see Michael. So yeah. Janet's like the next closest thing. Yeah. I mean, she has a new album called Black Diamond, Diamond coming out. Uh, the closest she'll be is uh, she'll be in Cincinnati on July twenty fifth. Not a bad drive. That's your halftime show for next year. Janet Jackson. Well, she's been there. there. She's Minus been, the titty. Yeah, I remember that. Minus the titty. Yeah. We just watched that at my work. Yeah. And she, you know what? Fuck her in the halftime show because she ruined comedy for so long. <laughs> like that incident ruined so much, man. I mean, shame on America for being so shocked over a freaking nipple. Yeah. But still, shame on her and Justin for doing that yeah. and ruining, like, Oh, the FCC just had fits after that, man. And Bob the and Tom FCC won't let could not me, be live anymore me. after that. But nothing, like it ruined live television, man. The whole delay on live television is because of that freaking incident. So Janet Jackson's nipple has caused more trouble <laughs> than I promise it's worth. It's a pretty nipple. I'll give her that. It's no, pretty. No, no, no. It yeah, but uh, that show much. that show will be cool. I went off not, track. Not sorry. as pretty as Michael's now. Boss, move me along. Come on, oh, oh, help me, help me. Uh, don't, don't do it later. Uh, Sam's watching. Sam Porter, thanks, buddy. Two of the biggest. Sam watching. Sam is sorry. watching. Oh hey, oh, good. Hey brother. <laughs> uh, one of the biggest stories of the week uh, was that Rage Against the Machine announced yes. they were going to be touring. Yeah. Um, that's going to be awesome. But the bad part is. Chicago, Detroit, and Cleveland are the closest places. They did add a bunch of extra shows, but not to anywhere else. Nope. Uh, anywhere so us. that is going to be one of the hottest tickets of the summer, obviously. Oh, yeah, man. So Great. get ready to save for your gas money because you're going to have to drive somewhere to go. Shit, and it's only going to be Chicago to see them. Oh, yeah. I'm going to pay 150 yeah. bucks a ticket to see um, yeah, I mean, it, you know what, man? People are flipping out about the ticket prices. It's nothing out of the ordinary. This no. is not, I, I mean, inflation happens. Well, the and funny thing, what they did, if you've seen the story on, on our page, was they pulled some of the best seats 
they scalped them themselves, and then they donated all the money to charity. Yes, yes they did. So, yes, so yes, they, they could did. wipe out the scalpers trying to take any of the good seeds. Yeah, people don't um, understand that. So, I mean, if you had to pay for them, it went to a good cause at least. But, yeah, um, you know, it's it's hard to outwit the scalpers. I mean, that's, it is. that's the life of capitalism. So Yeah, I mean, um, but, but, but people act like they're surprised that these tickets are so expensive. But, my God, how long have people been begging for a, a Rage Against the Machine reunion? I mean, we had profits of Rage, but that was mine and Zach. Zach has he is back now, so quit bitching about the money yeah. and just pay it and go. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. It'll be worth it, I promise. Oh, yeah. um, I don't know if Scott went, but Mike and I both seen him with uh, Wu Tang back in the day. What oh, you at that show? Yeah. That and was my great. God, you talk about a band. I mean, we were talking hate breed earlier. Um, Rage, man, the energy. <laughs> I would have yeah. just been happy with Wu-Tang. Yeah, I, I, I was a big Wu-Tang I was fan, too, so I got to see both, both of them. It was an incredible show. Man, you About can't... About got trampled and killed at it, but... Um, it was... Yeah, that yeah. crowd was violent. Uh, but it was great. I'll say that, but yeah, just... You can't compare, man. The energy yeah. of that show was just unspeakable. Um, also, the other big one was uh, August 27th. The Deftones are going to be at Deer mm-hmm. Creek. And those went on the sale already. With Gojira. 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 One of the greatest up and coming. Poppy. Yeah, I don't know Poppy. But Gojira? Listen, I've seen them. Actually, we saw them. You with Metallica. I actually actually was like, I I never heard of Poppy. So I dug into her YouTube page. And she is, she's different. She's weird. Yeah. It's a female. It is a female. one. Yes. Okay. Yes, it's a female. Wait a minute. Is she the one that does the? She has like a mic, like several mics, and they repeat themselves, or am I yeah, yeah. Okay, I she have is, seen her. She is oh. very strange. Hmm. Dig into her. She's wow. innovative. She, absolutely. I didn't know that's who it was. Yeah, and she's and she's hmm. very young. She's only like eighteen, well. maybe. <laughs> and, well, and yeah, Poppy and Gojira. So yeah, Bill's not a big Deftones fan, but Bill has just got intrigued because I'm a big Gojira fan. You talk about a up and up and coming metal band. Love Deftones, Um, and I love both of them. If uh, hopefully Chino, he's got a bad habit of uh, pre-gaming too hard, partying a little too hard pre-show. Yeah, Uh, happened in Arizona. Um, Buddy Joe, Joe Griffin, he he saw him uh, at a tool fest they had. And, um, yeah, he, he pre-gamed a little too hard. But if he don't, man, they're phenomenal. So yeah. I think I'm going to try to go to that yeah. now. It's been advertised like, like uh, I've, I've heard it on Spotify. I've heard it on X103. So uh, yeah. they're advertising shit out of that. Yeah, I can't wait. Well, now yeah. you heard it from Imagine That. Uh, uh, imagine That, Imagine man. That. Yeah. <laughs> Um, that was an excellent plug in. I, it, yeah, was. it was. Good, good job, Kyle. I'll give you your $5 in a second. Uh, <laughs> I'll just take a pat on the head. Uh, Some guy I'm named Eric there. Kidd uh, commented on what I just said. This guy named Eric Kidd said Gojira is not really up and coming. <laughs> I, 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 I was about to say that. I was going to say, I mean, we saw them open for Metallica like 10 years ago. Yeah. I think, well,. So. They've been yeah, around. They've been around. They, you know. They've been around since like 2001. Okay, I, I guess I, I shouldn't say up and coming now. It's just yeah, they're getting more attention. Yeah, they're now starting to. Yeah. That's kind of what I meant by it. Oh. Was, <laughs> by up and coming, I mean they're getting more popular as time goes on. They are so, damn it, Bill. So, damn it, Bill. God damn, damn it, Bill. Bill. They, they uh, they here we so go well, again. Our our new they, band. If but, you, uh, if you take a deep tool. listen to that band, they are so weird. And it is lovely. It the is lovely. Like, like, like lovely new layers. layers. If you can, uh, if they were really good. Though. If you could dig into Gojira, <laughs> man, please do so. They are amazing. I hear a lot of people in the tool community talking yeah. about them. I've said it twice in the last. And, and, and three why months. not? I mean, their, their time <laughs> signatures. Why is a heavy metal tool? tool. That's their their time tool. signatures are fucking nuts and. Just, so are they yeah. like they, a prog metal? They, yeah. Yes, they are. They remind me of Meshuggah. Meshuggah, yeah. yes. Is that math rock? <laughs> Angela's watching. Hi, Angela. Angela Wiggins? Yeah. Hi, Angela. It's Nicole Abrams, bro. Excuse me. <laughs> no. Always Angela and forever, Wiggins. Abrams. Always and forever. Sure, All right, Wiggins, baby. Wiggins. What's up? Anyway. Next on the Thank list. You. Uh, Thank you. 
Uh, I'm a big fan of Jason Isabel. He's kind of a Grammy Award winner. He used to be in Drive-By Truckers. Yep. Uh, incredible uh, artist. Just came out with a new song called Be Afraid. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, the album's called Reunion. It comes out on May 15th, so look for that. He's an incredible, great artist. Be Afraid. Uh, also, this is kind of wild, but Def Leppard and ZZ Top are going to be touring together. Yeah, yeah that's a good combination, man. In between that ZZ Motley Crue thing, uh, yeah. Def Leppard and ZZ Top are going to do several shows. After so, the crew uh, thing, yeah. you know, they're, I know, uh, they're not young a anymore. ZZ Top fan. Trey, like, Trey is. ZZ Top. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dude, who don't? Man? I love yeah. ZZ Top. Yeah, yeah they were They were on King of the Hill. Several times. <laughs> yeah, that uh, was an excellent episode. It was. Mm -hmm. Uh, Rolling Stones are going to be touring, uh, doing 15 stadium type shows. They will be uh, in Louisville on June 14th. If you want to check that out, that's probably the last time you'll probably ever. Well, I don't know. Wait, Keith has quit smoking now and all that stuff. That's a fan that will never quit either. I don't think they'll ever quit you know, until they die. Who's that? Stones. Stones. Oh, man. Yeah, Keith Richards, he's, man, that guy, he, he died 50 years ago. But he's still. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's so many good freaking stuff. They always songs. say the the joke is when we all run out of anything to do, smoke or do anything, we're gonna grind up Keith Richards' body and then smoke it. Let's talk oh. about it. <laughs> yep. You want to talk about a biography, man? That guy's book it's it's thicker and and bigger than the Bible. Uh, and it should be. Yeah, yeah I really. was listening to it. He he's got a phenomenal memory. That guy, he's he's partying. Yeah, he has seen and done yeah, things really. that uh, the Stones. I that's another bucket yeah. list band of mine. So yeah, Man, Paint of Black's always been one of my favorites. Well, that's pretty much it on that. I'm going to go through the, uh, some of the shows that got announced this week. There's only a few. This is a very interesting one if you're into some more of that alternative stuff like we were talking about earlier. But on March 21st in Logansport. The Queers and Against the Grain are going to play. Logansport? Yeah, Logansport. He Where at? The Queers. The I State never... Theater. So. Okay. No, never it's not what you them. think, but. Uh, Settle down. <laughs> I've never heard of them. Good but it's a, Lord. It's, it's, they're, they're killer. They've heard of you. Punk rock band. Kind of, you know. Damn it, Bill. Damn it, Bill. Damn it, Bill. Damn it, Bill. All right, July 3rd, Megadeth and Lamb of God are going to yes. be at Deer Creek. Yes. Hello, G. Yeah, that's going to be a big one. That's one Bill wants to go to. Uh, Me too. <laughs> a new up-and-coming band. It, it's incredible. Uh, July 3rd, The Revivalists and Moon Taxi are going to be at White River. That's your... Is that the they're, buddies, The Revivalists? They're, they're, you need to check them out. They, they okay. play them a lot on the uh, 92.3 and stuff. and nice. They're just a good bluesy kind of alternative okay. band. Um, Crawford bought um, him and Kyle tickets to uh, Backstreet Boys yep. yeah, I did. on July 31st to Deer I, Creek. I most certainly did. <laughs> Third row. Hey, hey. killer man! That's so we can great. we can literally throw our panties at JC. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I like the one with the mustache. Which one's JC? Yeah, you want to ride his mustache? Hell, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, it may have been an insane guy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, April 24th, Matina McBride's going to be at Brown County. Which I would actually love to go to that. Oh, she's a legend. I think she's, she's actually awesome. pretty good for country. Yeah, she's awesome. Uh, I love this guy. April 8th, Todd Snyder is going to be at the Vogue Theater. Okay. Dude, he's great, phenomenal. Great guy. He is so awesome. Uh, off and on, sometimes he did that beer run song everybody knows yeah. so much. And yeah. He kind of... He kind of got tired of doing that. And that's all the not time. even one of his. I mean, really good songs. Oh my gosh. Honestly, it's, yeah, I've seen him a couple times. It's like times. some bomb Tom grabbed a hold of and uh, yeah, um, did so. So smart, oh, man. He's witty. Yeah. He he's a comedic uh, performer, but still just a phenomenal guitar player yeah. and. Uh, yeah. Is he the one that also did the Orange Cone song? No. No, that's not him. That's Haywood Banks, I think, or something. Yeah. That's another. Yeah. This guy's. Uh, he's a genius. So, good call on that, um, man. Then August 21st, Sam Hunt and Kit Moore are going to be at Deer Creek. So, that's the last show for the week that we uh, announced. We got a question from uh, James Sexton. Who do we think is better, a better guitarist, Mick Mars or Slash? Slash. Uh, Slash. Uh, oh. Uh, there you that's go. The hard uh, man, that's it. You know, well, you okay, James. Bit, good you know, question, buddy. I mean, Mick's been around a long time and done, you know. Yeah, Slash. It's just, Slash has done more with other people and kind of and, went out and, on different... And, and and uh, Mick is the no disrespect to Tommy, but really the musician of that band. 
Yeah. With time. So maybe Slash is just more in the limelight. Uh, so for that reason, I think most of uh, most of us, uh, James, we're going to go with Slash. Slash for a lot of people is more of a character than he is a musician. I think. Guess, Scott? But he's a good one, though. Let me chime in on that. Uh, oh, yeah. James, uh, Mick Mars, all the way. I think he's one of the most underrated blues guitarists yeah, yeah. ever. Uh, I've seen his solo in person multiple and, times. And some of those riffs. And his riffs. Days. Yes, like Kyle said, his riffs are... Dude, like, they're unreal, man. Like, if you listen to that riff for uh, Live Wire... Or Live Wire. Live Wire. Yeah. It, yeah, and Nicky it's had so problems. Much fucking energy. Nicky had problems playing that when. Well, Nick of Rory, course, Nicky had. <laughs> well, Nicky uh, had problems anyway. But if you watch the dirt on Netflix, man, yeah. like Shit. Nick was older Jesus. than the rest of them guys. Yes. So, yeah. and don't yeah. get me wrong, I don't take anything away from Slash. Slash is amazing. He's more of a showman though. And Slash, and he's a name. Much better yeah. musicians to play with over the years than Nick. Well, if we get lucky, one of the stories we had uh, a few weeks ago was the word is Mick is working on a solo album that's going right. to be coming out. He's been so working on that That forever. could be killer, though. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, uh, what yeah. was I going to say? Like, but oh, Mick, Mick and Slash both are amazing guitarists. Definitely. In their own ways. Uh, yes. We were talking about Thank bands. You. That was an interesting Yeah, question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, dude. Like I said, we, we try to chime in and, and uh, interact with you all. Um, but uh, we were talking about bands and their chemistry. Um, Slash, to me, you know, like you said, he's played with so many different artists, but struggles. Like he tried doing that deal with uh, Scott Weiland, uh, Revolver. Velvet Revolver, and he said he said Scott Weiland was horrible to try to work with. And after that first album, he said he'll never work with Scott Weiland again. He don't have to anymore. Yeah, we don't have to worry about that. Um, but like Slash with GNR, it just works. You try to put Slash with somebody else, it's it's not the same, man. I like um, his uh, live solo record that he did with Miles Kennedy. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 His work with uh, Miles Kennedy is unreal. Yeah. So. But maybe mix better. Who knows, man? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's killer, man. We'll move on, though. But thanks for your question, Jane. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was killer, dude. All right. That goes into our fun, love, and last segment. Uh, we always do a top ten list. Being it's Valentine's Day, we thought we'd do the best uh, love songs um, and um, have a little fun with that since it's that <laughs> kind of time of the year. Hallmark so, holiday. We're gonna jump into that. Oh, before I, I forget, didn't mean to happy that. birthday to my niece Caitlin. Her birthday was yesterday. Oh, happy birthday! I can't Caitlin. believe you're 13. Yeah, happy birthday. Um, <laughs> my daughter's birthday was just last week. I, so I know. Are Part you assuming two. she's watching this show? Um, I just wanted to. At 13 that's years a, old, that's good a target Lord. demographic: 13 year old girls. Good. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shut up! <laughs> Some of the things you say. Oh, I would never let her watch it, but I just wanted to. <laughs> No, you're good, man. I'm teasing with you. I'm teasing All right, with you. Yeah, so happy birthday. Who wants to go first, then? Uh, Kyle? Uh, or Eric, actually? Go? Eric, you got a couple, man. Throw out just yeah, whatever you just remember, man. Yeah, okay, I got... Um, Love songs. What's that song? What's that song on Con Air? Well, we don't know. You, you know what I'm talking man. about. What song on Con Air? Yeah, I can't think of it. Anyway, my number, I know my number one was, it was At Last by Eddie James. That was my number. Oh, you know, that was one we 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 have a. You probably stole that one from Mike. Yeah, we still that happens. No, (laughs) (laughs) we we and Tina have our own kind of song list we go on. I saw I saw that that song's on there. That's on pretty much every analytical list. So. (laughs) Yeah. But uh. Now I'm gonna try to think of that fucking Connor. Yeah. All right, Kyle, yeah, how about yours? Right, it's about as close as you get to love and a girl. So you want to? Yeah. <laughs> um, the, the, girls, the girls in front of that speedway don't count. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> Would you get on with your list, man? My, oh, my man. number 10 um, is uh, Tesla, Tesla Love Song. Yeah, that's a good cool. one. Good my one. number 9 you guys may argue that this isn't a love song, but fuck you. Whatever. How um, do I live by uh, choose your way? How do I live? Um, yeah, there you go. Rick James, um, Mary Jane. 
Okay. Right. Number nine. Yeah, I right. see why that. You, yeah, you can do that. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. I love that fucking song. <laughs> yeah, you should. Um. So <laughs> 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 number, uh, as do we all. <laughs> number eight of the Grateful Dead. It must have been the roses. Mm. Yeah. That's that's a good song. Oh, oh, very good. Good, Kyle. Pick, man. Cool. good pick, bro. We've been good talking one. about this this group all fucking chill. But my number seven is the Cure Pictures of You. Yeah, good one. Very good. Song. Ooh, great song. Um, my number six, you guys probably won't know it, but it's off the soundtrack to Boys Don't Cry, A Camp Full of Dice in Texas. They were all kind of all in hit wonder yeah, thing. That's cool. Um, okay. number five, Pearl Jam Better Man. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, forget that, that song is so much uh, better live. Oh, yes. Um, I don't uh, know if that's so much a love song, but anyway. It, 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 it is. Yeah, it's kind it of is. about not loving somebody, isn't it? I uh, can't find a better that's, man. That's why it's... Okay, yeah. I got you. <laughs> Number that's four. why you're all sad. Uh, Good pick. Just kiss it. Hard Luck Woman. Fuck yeah. yeah Great yeah, choice. Is Fucking love that song. Great choice. Yeah, um, now, these next two songs are on the same... Same soundtrack. Tina might remember this movie. It's about a, uh, it was an 80s movie. It was about this um, wrestler, this high school wrestler. Oh, Vision Quest. Vision, 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 Vision Quest. Quest. Yeah. Thank you, Mikey. The, um, only the Young Journey. Yeah. yeah that's oh, true. yeah. And um, number two, Madonna Crazy for You. Yeah, that's Crazy that too. for You. Oh, God. Get Bill. Um, I know. Uh, my, I like that my number one is oh, Motley really? Crue's cover of Tonight by the Cranberries. Oh, wow. Kill it, bro. I fucking love that song. Kill it, man. 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 man. Boss, you want to go well, next? Well, yeah, because, because uh, Tina always wants us to uh, sit there and say how much more love she has in her little pinky than all us guys put together. She Can actually I came like out. You. And she's going to do a top ten list this week. Hell yeah. So we we'll switch some spots. Here you go, boss no. lady. No, she's not on camera. Bring it on. Yeah. Come on camera. Yeah. No. Come on. on camera. Come on. Come on. Show, show us how it works here. Bill needs to pee. Come on. No, I'm just not kidding. <laughs> I can go way more than ten. Yeah. Don't know how many is on here, but go ahead, rattle them off. There's no order. The pretenders. I'll stand by you. Yes. The Airborne Toxic Event, mm. Half of Something Else. Uh, that's, oh, no, that's this band is awesome if you've never seen Airborne Toxic Event. Check out Airborne Toxic Event. They Check did that Wishing out. Well song. Oh, yeah. Um, Eddie James, At Last. Yes. The Tony Rich Project, Nobody Knows. Yeah, yeah. for that. Peter Gabriel, In Your Eyes. That is one of the best ones. Ever. Greatest prog rocker ever. Uh, Christina Perry, A Thousand Years. Wow. That's Faith Hills, Beautiful. Yeah. OAR, 52 or 50. Yeah. And All Because of You. Enrique Iglesias is Hero. Yeah. Hymns, Heaven Tonight. Yeah. Rob Thomas, All That I Am. Yes. Great, man. Ed Sheeran, Tenor of C. Tim McGraw's My Best Friend, and Beyonce's Flaws and All. Yes. Great list. Great list. Great and they may list. not mean anything to anybody else, but they mean so much to me. That's all hey, that that's matters. Hey, that's what matters. That's all that matters, Tina. Uh, Great know, list. Great list. Yeah, music is subjective, and it touches Absolutely. everybody in different ways. Absolutely. Uh, just exactly. like my list will, and Scott's oh, list will. Everybody's got a song. Uh, reminds you of some some person, you know. So yeah, and, and it can be interpreted in different ways. And uh, every one of them songs is on mine and Mike's wedding playlist. Yeah. Hell yeah, yeah, cool, kudos. Thank yeah, you for absolutely. taking that time to make that list and um, beautiful list. You know, beautiful I, list. I, I I took notes. Um, you know, the Toxic Event band. I'm going to look into them. Yep. Airborne, Airborne, Toxic. Airborne, Toxic. Airborne Toxic Event. I can read my own writing. Go, <laughs> yeah. All, awesome. One of the few rock bands that have a violinist in them. Yeah, that's great. Violinists, uh, yeah. yeah, that's it's pretty wild. So it's a mm. great band. I, they're on my list as well. Some A different song, but... Hell so yeah. go ahead, Bill. Hell What's yeah. yours, man? Okay, um, you know, I kind of took this uh, probably lighter than I should have just, just because I'm a metal fan and 
Um, you know, love songs aren't my specialty, but I think I made a pretty good list. Uh, White Stripes, I uh, put them at my number 10 with Fell in Love with a Girl. Just think that's a cool, fun little song, you know. Everybody can kind of get into it. Um, my number nine, I got to I gotta throw a prog rock band in there, Chicago. You're the Inspiration. I just yeah, remember that. Man, when I was a kid, just yeah, hearing yeah. that song before yeah, I yeah. even knew what love really wasn't meant, man. Yeah. It's just... Um, Good one, brother. And I don't know how anybody can go without saying uh, GNR, Guns N' Roses, uh, Sweet Child of Mine. That's just... Killer love song, uh, Rolling Stones, Wild Horses, yes. yep. another just awesome, uh, and this is one that's kind of funny, man. But uh, BTO, you ain't seen nothing yet. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like I said, it's kind of funny, but it is, well, man. It's but it's, it's true. It, it, it is a love song. Um, then uh, Janis Joplin, Piece of My Heart. Oh, um, God. Oh, that's like one of the um, greatest ones. Didn't Faith Hill do that in the 90s? May, uh, um, Janis didn't write it, actually. I, uh, no, who, I, Chris Christopherson did. Um, there was another was one. I, um, but I don't know, anyway. Janis didn't write it. I don't know who wrote it, but but it's just it's a killer love song, dude. Uh, here, here's another one, man. I got This one was uh, also kind of funny to me. Um, Blue Oyster Call. Who don't love Blue Oyster Call? Uh, burning for you? You kind of yeah. do. We both said it. The uh, yeah. Oh, dude. You know, and uh, when Kyle was telling me how uncomfortable his last urination was... <laughs> That song, that song just popped in my head. I, I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm burning for you. Um, so I had to add it to my list. Uh, thank you, Kyle. Um, that, that was my number four. No, that's a good one, though. Um, yeah, yeah and, uh, all jokes aside, that is a killer, that is a killer song. Killer. Uh, my number three comes from two of my favorite movies. I have been accused of being gay because I know these soundtracks, but man, they're phenomenal. You can't deny it. Grease. My first one I'm going to throw out from Grease 2, there was a song called Let's Do It For Our Country. Um, and oh my God, tell me that's not a love song. This guy was pre He pretended like the world was going to end just so he could get laid. Um, yeah, it was lust. I know, I have to, Tina. And, and sure, it was lust, but where does love start, man? Um, and, and then I kind of, you know, it does not start with love. Um, there's, there's been a few chubby right now. Most of the time, well, okay. But anyway, it's subjective. Um, so that was just kind of a consolation. That was a consolation to my true number three, which is Summer Lovin'. That, you know, from Grease One, that's Olivia Newton John and, and John Travolta. Yes. Yeah, I mean, that, that is. That's that's where. No, you know, hopelessly devoted. Um, to you well, okay, the that could have been. That could have been a better one, but I, I seen Puddle of Mud do Summer Lovin' and thought it was hilarious. So, uh, my number two is a personal uh, favorite of mine and a love song just, just because of what happened. Uh, Juliet and the Licks, Juliet Lewis, her band, done. Uh, they they had a song called Seventh Sign, yeah. and she leaned down off the stage and had her hand on my shoulder and sang the chorus of that song. Um, so of course, man, that's just yeah, it's freaking awesome to me. And my number one song, I, uh, nobody can deny to me that uh, uh, Stone Temple Pilots still remains. Scott Weiland, you can say what you want to say about him and his drug addictions and all that stuff, but that guy could write some love songs. Is that the, and, uh, on the end of number four? Uh, no, that song's off of their second album, Purple. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know, he just uh, it just epitomizes what love truly is. Uh, you know, I've been I've been in lust and I've been in love. You know, and I, I know what love is, and and that song still remains. That's like I said, that's the epitome of what. Loving somebody truly is. And, the only thing that stays uh, true to me is my hand. Well, there's that, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for bringing some comedy to my 
otherwise dry. I had to say it. Well, he's right. <laughs> Hand love and you know, that's I'm right. He, he bought his own hand on an engagement ring. You know what? I'm, I'm right handed, sir. I, I, I played that song, Still Remains for Him, and one of the lines in that song is, Take a bath, I'll drink the water that you make. And oh, so I, now every week I have to bring a cup of my bath water to Kyle so he can indulge himself, oh, and it's just God. it's weird. Yeah, after you um, said that line, I remembered the song. That is not yeah. where I thought you were going with that. Yeah, me neither. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> all right, we're moving I'm, on. Scott, I'm have nightmares buddy. All right, <laughs> I have a nightmare every day. <laughs> you all are my nightmares. We love you too. Tina's nightmare. Um, Alice Cooper. My <laughs> list for uh, you know, greatest love songs ever. Uh, Here we go. This is um, like a good one. And, and granted, today is not a good day for me. So. Ooh! Fuck uh, love and uh, all that bullshit. So, anyway, some honorable mentions. The Beatles, And I Love Her. Great fucking song. Yep. Hell yeah, um, dude. Garth Brooks, The Dance. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Um, yeah, typo yeah, Negative, Love You to Death. Love. Uh, Waylon Jennings, Between Father and Son. Nice one. Uh, my song to my kiddo. Hell so, yeah, so. dude. Uh, outside of the love relationship between a man and a woman, a father yeah, and a child. Yeah, kinds of love. Yeah. Exactly. Yes, that's a great one, dude. Great one. Uh, song number three by Stone Sour. Great love song. Mm-hmm. Uh, Vermilion 2 Ooh! by Slipknot. Can't believe I, I left that one off, man. Love that. And then my actual list, um, The Doors, Indian Summer. Nice one. Great, oh, yeah. great love song. Yeah, that's uh, a good uh, one. Running to the Edge of the World by Marilyn Manson. Oh my gosh, Manson. Uh, People one, don't know. One of my greatest love songs ever. Um, yeah, yeah. A Love Unreal by Black Label Society. No, that's a good one. Great one. You're Not Alone by Twisted Sister. <laughs> good one, dude. Um, the song Love Question Mark by Strapping Young Lad. Fucking love that song. Thank you, Kyle. That's oh, no. I, I thought that you would be the Colin. one that would know that. Uh, <laughs> um, Snuff by Slipknot. Man. Oh my gosh, that, that, that song. That's another one. That explains so much of everything in yeah. my world. That is a poem in motion. It is. Yeah. Um, yeah, Corey, man. Thank You by Led Zeppelin. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, uh, one of the greatest ever. I almost threw a whole yeah. lot of love on mine from that's Zeppelin. One too. Man, um, yeah, Zeppelin. Here For You by Ozzy. Yeah, huh. dude, wow. great one. Great song. Just listen to the words if you haven't. Yeah. Um, last two, Faithfully by Journey. Yep. Can't go wrong there. Yeah, exactly. And my number one is I Still Love You by Kiss. Yeah, uh, yeah, bro. Now, we said that earlier that we knew you would have a Kiss one on <laughs> yeah, there. So we knew I, that I, too. I love that song. Man. Yeah, it is. So, it, it's, I, I the drums it. on that are so fucking they excellent. They are. So I Still Love You by Killer. Kiss is my number one and whatever. Killer. I can't yeah. believe you were on your yeah. one had a Pearl Jam and, song and, on ours. And, and the, I but, the acoustic yeah. version of that is fucking excellent. That's the version Please, I prefer. Please, doesn't matter. My list is still the I, I, I want to throw uh, Jennifer McCubbins Parks threw out a, a Toadies song called Tyler. Yeah. Uh, we've talked about Toadies uh, yeah. before, yeah. man. I love, I love that movie. I'm a huge, yeah. huge Toadies fan, so oh, man. I just wanted to throw that All out right. there. Well, let me do ice. There's What's some... yours, Big Daddy? Well, you know. Here we uh, go. The analytical. Some of the honorable <laughs> mentions I want to throw out. I was waiting to see if you guys would say any of them mm-hmm. from some of my digging I did. Um Tiny Dancer by Elton John. Oh, uh, yes. Mike was out back with the shovel, man. Digging yeah. these songs up. Yes. Uh, yes. Guns N' Roses, oh, November yes. Rain. Oh, yes. Wasn't that about his wife's funeral? Yeah, kind of. Freaking you know, amazing. The uh, piano and... Foo yeah. Fighters, Everlong. Yeah. That, that was going to be on my uh, list. That yeah. was a song that he wrote when he fell in love with Veruca Salt, lead singer. Yes. He's still married to his wife yes. and all that stuff. Uh, I don't know that story. A couple, couple kind of love songs that were real popular, like Nirvana, Heart Shaped Box. Yeah, if you love Courtney Love's Pussy. Uh, there you go. Uh, 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 that's one 
of my favorite Nirvana songs, uh, and I never thought of that until the boss yeah. said it. Um, all right, some of the ones that I kind of picked. Um, of course, obviously some of the songs mean a lot to us. Me and Tina, uh, our, our song is OER 5250. Um, it's always been our song. Uh, we always uh, love to be next to each other at the shows. When we hear that song, we, we just get goosebumps and start you know, and all that. So Look at you, man. Yeah. Goosebumps right there, yeah. bro. Yeah. Yeah. That is, there is no, both of them. Oh my uh, God. That music. is music. Wow. Music. Yeah. music. It does that. that is a special thing right <laughs> there. I just saw goosebumps on two separate people at the same uh, yeah. time. Yeah. Another song one. not even playing. Yeah. Another, another mm. one that we, we, uh, cause we, we got to meet Freaking the guys wow. and be with us. Airborne Toxic event. Um, uh, they have a song called Sometime Around Midnight. I'm telling you, if you listen to the words of this, this song, it will, I mean, it's just unbelievable. My airport. Uh, Wishing Well is another one they had. It was really better. popular. So, um, Just check out Airborne Toxic Event. Yeah, I've got them there. Yeah. What, yeah. what was your song, Mike? I'm sorry. Um, Sometime Around Midnight. Okay. Um, something else. Now, here's some other ones I kind of grew up on. Um, Steve Ray Vaughn, Pride and Joy. God, that, I used yeah. to play it for my daughter. That's yeah. I'm a big Stevie Ray Vaughan fan. So. That's a good one. Um, you two, all I want is you. Nice. Sweetest things and sure. with or without you. They're all big songs. And they're on our I wedding album. I'm fucking not tired. I'm sorry, I'm just coughing. <laughs> uh, Bob Seeger, we got tonight. Oh, oh God. Dude. That was a big one. Man, here's oh, another. God. I'm thinking of some other ones now. Oh, Say your, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Eric Clapton, wonderful tonight. Yes. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a nobody can deny one. that. That's no. a great wedding song. Um, of course, when I grew up, I was a big Van Halen fan. So, when it's love, yes, it was a big song to me. With Sammy, yes. Um, and this is one I'm surprised nobody said any any of these by this artist, but Prince is always one big artist for me on that stuff. You know, you're always you're always making out and doing stuff with Prince, but Who's I would fun? die for you. Oh God! Uh, yeah. on our wedding album. Nothing compares to you. Oh, on our wedding uh, album. Uh, take me with you. Those on are all big songs. <laughs> Those are all on our wedding album. Obviously, all these are. These uh, Frank Sinatra, the way you look tonight. Our wedding oh, album. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a Killer. And you all made out to the Al Green. Let's stay together. <laughs> yes. Our yeah. wedding yeah. album. <laughs> Al Green is baby making music there. I'm telling you, man, you're just yeah. saying you're like wedding album, <laughs> aren't you? Uh, Queen, you're my best friend. Our oh. wedding album. <laughs> yeah, it's now, now, see, Queen, I could have said um, very easily, um, uh, "Love of My Life." Yeah, oh, yeah, that's dude. a good one too. Uh, easily. Yeah. So. And of course, I have to say some Beatles songs. Um, In my life, all you need is love. Something in the way she moves. Yes. Those are Man, all good that's guys. a killer album. One. Something oh, in the way she moves. Yeah. 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 And like I said, I love and I love her with all mine. Yeah, yeah. 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 So I, I was knew you didn't pick that particular song. I <laughs> oh, yeah. I pick, but good that was kind of my list. Good I can't ones. believe Scott didn't say Pantera. This love. Man, I, almost I almost did. I almost did. Who sang more than words? Who was extreme? Was extreme. 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 That's another. Yeah. The '80s was a phenomenal or, time for Firehouse song. It was real big back then. They had a Love of a Life. Our wedding I remember, album. I remember being like a skating ring or uh, that song playing. Uh, Jackie yeah. threw out Marilyn Manson. If I was your vampire, yes. that is a That's phenomenal a good love one. song. Yeah. yeah, thank you, Jackie. Uh, Winger Heavens. Yeah, Winger's Heaven. You mean Warren? Warrant, 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 Kyle's got Wiener on the brain. Well, like, but know, thank you, Jack. Shut up. Up. <laughs> I know it. I just said, Jack, you know nothing. You you know about wieners. That's what we <laughs> gathered from that, Kyle. And how many of them are going to be thrown in your face later? Once again, nobody has love uh, songs. Like this, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for this. Curry on that one. So. And if nothing else, if I wouldn't be compassionate enough, I just wanted to do... Tell everybody that I love my wife, Tina Haddon. I did get her flowers. I thought, oh. you, were, I thought you were gonna give those to me. I know they were for Kyle. Are you first, crazy? There you go, baby. Okay. We, can turn the cam we need to turn the camera. To we can't see. Yeah. Yeah. We can't wow. see right now. Oh, I can't. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Do it. All right, guys, close your eyes for a second. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> some things happening off camera you guys can't see or know about. We'll get Zucker punched. Uh, no, because cool, that, 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 was, that, was, that was a good list, man. Yeah. That was really good. Yeah, I thought we all did great, man. We'll come Mike up with even a best, better one next so week. I don't even know what you're talking about. Teen Ava came out of the woodwork and did her list. That's, yeah. that's Please, I've done a list for every show. Just nobody and, and, cares to know what I say. Uh, I want to say this if for a shout out. That, and if you say, hey, I got a list, we'd like to do it. Yeah, no shit. And I want to say this for we a shout out. Next, I don't, next but week, I don't want everybody because to of it's Black History Month, we will be doing uh, our greatest well, black, we don't know yet. black <laughs> history month. To be continued. Yeah, we'll list. Do we'll do we may or may not. We'll yeah. see. No, we will. Uh, yeah. I've uh, already Eric, my list. So. Eric threw out Ring of Fire and uh, Walk the Line from Johnny Cash. God, those are good. Lists, man. Yeah. Heck yeah. Awesome. And I can't believe anybody didn't have Rocket Queen. Uh, Guns N' Roses. It's a love song. Oh, it's yeah. not a love, love song. It's about love. My Michelle. Your drums, my Michelle. Michelle. Which I did. Slayers 213. Perfect drum. Perfect drum. Perfect drum. Love songs <laughs> and non-love songs because y'all are fucking uh, dead are, in the water. Aerosmith. I don't want to miss a thing. That's yes. about the only Aerosmith. Crazy. Amazing. Aerosmith, no, you could just so throw much out. Aerosmith. Yeah. No, you could just throw dream out. Dream on, even. Dream on. All right, we're obviously going to be talking about this for the next hour. We're not going to involve you guys anymore. So. <laughs> because I'm right uh, and wrong. All right. Hey, we appreciate you guys. Make sure you're following the page. You know, I'm on there all the time, faster than anybody on the Thank internet, you. posting shows, information for anybody else. So please join in. Tell your friends, tell your family. Bring Tell your along. dog. Tell your dog. If they can get on the internet, then that's fine too. We don't care. What else? So, Tell your hit up YouTube. Tell yeah. your grandma. Tell your. Uh, hit up our YouTube. Yeah, we got YouTube, everything. We, yeah. We're, we're, we're taking over this nation. I'm telling you this. YouTube, you know, YouTube. I'm telling you. Play yeah. Kyle's YouTube. tube. Your tube. Yeah, so. Our tube. <laughs> our tube. <laughs> but uh, thanks for joining in. Hey, we're going to go see Surreal at the Town Tavern tonight. Kyle's buying everybody drinks. No, so he's not. Yes, he is. Five dollar headshot. Yep, yep, yep. You can lick his head for free. <laughs> Belly button shots that out of Kyle. That does come with a warning <laughs> label. Nobody wants to do that. Have mercy. Shit. Oh, oh my God. God. I'm, I'm blind. I'm blind. I am blind. Kyle just showed us his belly button. And I'll pierce his nipples. Oh, oh my God. God. Jeez. I can't All see right, anything. we need to end this on this What's note. So uh, before, yeah. we're, we're going to be outlawed in every every country in the world with what I, I mean. We love you guys. Are we still on? I we love you. All right, love y'all. Peace. Peace out. See you next Saturday. Love you. Woo.